Oh, hey, it's time again. Welcome to another download, a weekend edition for you now. And after all, isn't everybody just working for the weekend? Mm, all right. We know at least it only gets better from here. Uh, so let's start it rolling today with a top-notch feature that we saw this week from VOA's own Michael Bowman. Now, you may recall our item earlier this week on Amnesty International's Human Rights Report. We know a growing part of that report devoted to the Internet, specifically how governments, for example, like that of China, restrict information on the net, and worse, the thousands who are tossed into jail, such as Chinese blogger Li Ji, simply for expressing themselves online. Now, Michael's TV feature explores his case and others, and he also takes a look into what Congress is considering doing about all this. You know, if you're the least bit interested in online freedom, you'll want to check it out. And you'll find Michael Bowman's feature and a whole world of information at our homepage, voanews.com. You know, one of the stories that we just didn't have time to get to this week involves five nations, the Arctic Ocean, and what may be one of the world's largest oil fields. Yeah, it looks pretty cold up there. Hmm? Uh, well, sadly, the Arctic getting quite a bit warmer, meaning that the Arctic Sea may soon be relatively ice-free. Uh, now, this is important for more than just the polar bears. The governments of Russia, Canada, Norway, Denmark, and the United States are involved in an escalating land rush of sorts up there. Now, you may remember when the Russians planted that teensy flag on the Arctic Ocean floor. It was, in part, a claim to the vast oil fields that may exist at the top of the world and may be easier to get to with less sea ice. Just how vast are we talking? Well, I've heard of considerable estimates. I even heard that, that maybe there's a quarter of the world's unrealized resource up there. Whether the number is right or not, one doesn't know. Yeah, but what is clear, there's more and more interest in determining who might be able to tap into that oil. Now, the five border nations just this week have begun negotiating that very question, and you can bet that it won't be resolved anytime soon. Finally, the download saddened to learn of the death this week of actor and TV fixture Harvey Corman. Now, topping all the obituaries are tributes to Corman's comedic work as Second Banana. You know, he's the funny guy who makes the headliner seem all the funnier. Well, Corman always said he was happy playing second. You know, in our opinion, Harvey Corman was second to none in making us laugh. Men, you are about to embark on a great crusade. Now you will only be risking your lives, whilst I will be risking an almost certain Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Now raise your right hand for the pledge. Now repeat after me. I. I. I your name. Your name. Schmucks. Pledge allegiance. Pledge allegiance. To Hedley Lamar. To Hedley Lamar. That's Hedley. That's Hedley. And to the evil. And to the evil. For which he stands. For which he stands. Now go to that voodoo that you do so well. Harvey Corman died Thursday in California. He was 81 years old. And he will be missed. Headley. Well, on that note of goodbye, we'll just say to you, see you real soon. Have a great weekend. Awesome.